Evening all, it is Thursday, which means it's time for Thursday's House of Games. I am Richard Osman, and all week I've been joined by four competitors, all battling it out to win this trophy. Our contestants this week are the Reverend Kate Botley, <laughs> Mr John Thompson, Yolanda Brown, and Joel Domit. Welcome all, welcome all. Once again, we kept the silverware down this end of the table on the last show. Kate, you took home a, uh, a House of Games robe. That's a nice piece of kit, that right? That is a mm. nice piece. That's worth winning, right? It was. It's beautiful. The thread count on that, gorgeous. Oi, oi. Really? <laughs> beautiful. Smell the stuff. Very nice. <laughs> Smell the stuff. John <laughs> Thompson, <laughs> our winner on Tuesday. Yes. Kate's won two, you have won one. Tomorrow we give away this trophy. Indeed. Do you think you can uh, get level peggings today? I would like to to think I can get my mojo back. Uh, yesterday I felt that the alphabetical round uh, it finished me. Yes, I have to say we broke you. At you one broke point. me at that point. Um, Yolanda, listen, yes. no more robes. They're gone, unfortunately. <sighs> but we have this new selection of oh. prizes for today. <gasps> oh, there's some nice prizes there. Cricket bat, signature scent. We have a duvet and pillow set. <laughs> Lovely duvet. And pillow. Comes with oh, a duvet yeah. too. Not just a pillow, oh, not just a duvet. Me. A, a duvet single or double? Pillow. It's yeah. queen size. Oh, oh really? Queen size. Ooh. Which are Bonus. Queen. Yeah. And women queen the band, so it's four men. <laughs> 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 OK. But I see that you have the infamous toolkit. Yes. The toolbox. The toolbox is good. This toolbox. is what I've okay. always it's needed. It's an old school one. I like it. You need it. one. Yeah. I need yeah. one. Because I've got some things in the drawer in the kitchen, some things are in oh. the pantry. You know, it's just... Yeah. You are you preaching get that face the choir. embossed on everything that you I love put it. in it. I've lovely. got some sunglasses I could store in that bag. Yeah. Oh, you want sunglasses? <laughs> that might be lovely. Joel Dummett. Hello. Second, second place yesterday. Second place, not bad. So that I crept up on good. everyone, didn't I? Really uh, you did. So all the wins have been down this end. It'll be lovely for one of the two of you to win on this Thursday's House of Games. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. Yolanda, you have six points. Just behind John and Joel with seven. Kate currently four points out in the lead there with 11. But there's points today and tomorrow, double points Friday. Eight points for a win, six for a second, and so on. Let's get today out of the way with first, though. Round one today is... The answer is in the question. The answer's in the question. We will go down the line okay. here. I am going to give you a series of questions, and the first bunch are all questions about Charles Dickens' books. And somewhere in the question, you'll see capital letters, and the answer is an anagram of those letters. So the answer is literally in the question. So, Kate, what is the answer to this? Mr Bumble has only vitriol stew to offer when a boy asks for more gruel in this novel. So that's the clue, and the answer is an anagram of vitriol stew. Oliver Twist. Oliver Twist. Is that an anagram of vitriol stew? Of course it is. Well played. <laughs> Happy that. Let's see how... Happy that. That's not scary, is it? No, not at all. That's not scary, John. Here's your Charles Dickens book. Thomas Gradgrind's dreams hit a bleak reality when he realises he might have brought about his children's misfortunes. Oh, I wanted to say something comedic. <laughs> Post-watershed, <laughs> so I won't. Yeah, <laughs> I um, mean, I see, nearly what there. I see what you're going for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I can... yeah. But I'm going for hard times. Is it hard times? <laughs> yes, it <laughs> is. Very well done, John. <laughs> hard times. Yolanda, Charles Dickens, book for you. You wonder whether this novel's miser, whose heart seems arctic, has morals. Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol is absolutely the right answer. We'll play the Christmas Carol. <laughs> Let's have a little look at yours, Joel. What Charles Dickens' book is this? Rather than being at school, spirited youth Little Nell roams the countryside with her grandfather in this novel. Um... I mean, oh. I'm very comfortable with timing you out, Joel, if, uh, if that's Please what you'd do, like. Please do, yeah. Yeah, uh, time, time me out. OK, we'll time out, Joel. Anyone else can buzz in if they've got it? What in the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're very easily spooked. We're going to kick ourselves, aren't we? You are going to kick yourself, I think. You got it at home. It is... The Old Curiosity oh, Shop. Oh, wow. The Old oh, Curiosity oh, Shop. Close. Very well done if you got that at home. Oh, Nicholas Nickel. Yeah. yeah. Kate, we go back to you, and this time round, we are looking for Westerns. Wow, Kate, here's yours. 
In this classic of 1969, a pair of dudes snatch city cash, bunk and die during a climactic shootout in Bolivia. I can hear my dad screaming oh, at the TV. I should know this, but I don't. No, 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 no okay, I as soon as we time you out, you can have a little buzzer race. Gotcha. Joel wins the buzzer race. Is it Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Of course it is. It is Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. <laughs> of course it is. And a round of applause to the question writers for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, that anagram of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance well hidden. Kid. John, here's yours. If the menacing events phase the gunfighters in this classic Western, they don't show it. Yeah, I've got it. Have you? Yeah. Magnificent Seven. Oh, yes. is it the Magnificent Seven? Very, very well played. The Magnificent right. Seven. Well played, okay. John. Yolanda. A Western from you, please. Here's your clue. John Wayne plays Davy Crockett, who'd probably have preferred a hot meal to facing the Mexican army. Davy Crockett. Uh. John's in. No, it's not going to happen. No, should we time you out? Yeah. Kate's in. John. The Alamo. The Alamo is the right answer. Well I done. Joel, you have the last question in this round. Set on retiring peacefully, Wyatt Earp instead joins forces with Doc Holliday once more to stop a mob sent to cause havoc in their town. Uh... I think Kate knows it. Just time me out, and then she's going to say it, and I'm going to be like, okay. oh. <laughs> It's the most annoying thing in the world. I look forward to that. Uh, okay, we'll time you out. Anyone can buzz in if they wish when you're timed out. Kate. Ten tombs. It is not ten tombs. <laughs> John. Aye. Tombstone. Tombstone oh. was the right answer. Well done. Well done. If you got that at home, that's the end of that round. Let's take a look at our scores at the end of round one. Here's how we look. <gasps> look at look that! At that. Yeah, John. Yolanda, Joel and go. Kate, you all have one. John, you have four points. Excellent. Come on, John. Today, round two is going to be... <laughs> Stick the average. We've played this before. The person in last place gets to choose what team they're going on. Right, Kate, you haven't chosen a pair yet. Haven't. Who would you like to choose today? I'm going to go John. You're going to go, John? Absolutely. Same it's OK. Oh. 100%. I don't mean, take any wow. offence to that. I'm not at all. Sorry. I, just, I didn't want you to have yeah. to move seats, that's oh, all. Oh, that's true. I'm just yeah. thinking yeah. of you. Long that, does feel, that does feel so a little sorry. bit like bullying in the workplace. It really <laughs> does. It feels like I'm getting so picked just, last for yeah. football. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Tablets out, please, everybody. I'm going to ask you some questions. You're both going to write down answers and we'll take the average of each pair. OK? Have a little go at home as well. Write down your answers. Let's do this. Your first question today is this. According to Guinness World Records, how long is the River Nile in miles? How long is the River I'm Nile? I'm looking through your eyes to see if miles. I can pick up what number you're going to write. Yep. What do you reckon at home? Tough one, this, isn't it? Tough to work out where to... Uh... It's another one of those things that you think you should know. So, how long is the River Nile? Kate, what have you gone with? I've gone with 231 miles and a nice crocodile. Ooh. 231 miles. OK. What do you think at home? John, have you gone longer than that? I've gone a little bit longer. I've gone 325. 325. OK. So, your average is... 278 miles. It's all right, that seems OK. Fair it is, fair it is. OK. Uh, <laughs> Yolanda. I oh, no. Joel, guys, <laughs> Joel, I'm with you. I yeah. Was, I was all good until I'm I I'm with you. Don't <laughs> worry. I mean... Don't worry. Listen, we'll Joel's get to right. it. right. We will get to it, OK? Mm. Yolanda, what have you said? 425. 425 okay. miles, says Yolanda. Joel, you've gone up from that? Just a tad. 3,000 I've gone with. 3,000 miles. Guys, I've gone with 3,000. It could not be wrong. I'd be in the thousands. Let's take a look at your average. 1,712 and a half miles. So 278 miles plays 1,712 and a half. What have you gone at home? Are you in the thousands or are you in the hundreds? Who are you closest to? So, according to Guinness World Records, how long is the River Nile in miles and who has won the point? Oh. 4,100. Oh, well done, Joel. Nice. Joel. Very well played, Joel. Well played at home as well. If uh, you did well there, let's take a look at your next question. 
In 2013, Eminem was awarded the world record for most words in a hit single for his song, Rap God, rapping how many words in just over six minutes? World record for most words in a hit single. How many? Hmm, what do you reckon at home on this? Rap single, six minutes long. How many words can you fit in? We will start with Yolanda and Joel. Yolanda, how many words have you gone for? I went with 1,873. 1,873. Joel, are you going up or down? Uh, a little down, actually, but I think it's a good average. I've gone for 1,000, which also looks like the word loo. Oh, loo. it does. You're quite right. <laughs> <laughs> loo. Um, let's take a look at your average, Yolanda and Joel. You think that uh, there are 1,436 and a half words. Mm. Fancy those odds. In that song. Kate, what do you I've reckon? gone for 1,500. 1,500. OK, so we're all thinking roughly the same thing. John, up or down? I've gone up slightly. 1,800. 1, OK, so there's some consensus oh. mm. around this. Roughly around. So your average is 1,650. Who has won the point and how many words are there in that song? It's close. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. 560. Well done if you got close to that at home. It'd be harder to get closer than these two teams here. Point to Kate and John. Last question in this round. How many hours are there in one day on the planet Venus? Cool, what an amazing question. It's a though. good question, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. How many hours are there in one day on the planet Venus? What do you think at home? Well, listen, we're assuming it's not 24, otherwise it'd be a very dull question. But what is it? More than 24, less than 24? Kate, what are you thinking? I've got four. Four hours a day on Venus. Four hours a day. John, up or down? I've gone three. This is my Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Oh, yeah, it's three. Oh, very nice. Oh, three so hours. So, down. essentially, you're saying three and a half hours. That's your, uh, yeah. that's your average. Joel, what have you gone for? 70. 70? OK. okay. It's nice because it when I showed that for the first time, I think the cameraman didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time for everything. First isn't it? time. First time. Uh, 70, Yolanda, up or down? Up a little bit. 78. Well, yes. this is nice that both teams kind of agree with each other. Yeah. yeah. So 74 hours, you are saying there. Who is right? How many hours a day are there on the planet Venus? And who has scored a point? Oh, <laughs> you went the right way! <laughs> <laughs> there are 5,832 hours on the planet Venus. That, that's quite a way out. I have got to say, if we didn't have an answer there, we'd have, I think we'd have all gone... I think that's probably right. I yeah. Think, yeah. I, I, I think you've got that's it. That's wow. so convincing. That is 5,832 so wow. hours. I won't forget wow. that. Tablets wow. away, please, everybody. They're very tired on the planet Venus, aren't they? Oh, you know what? I'm must happy be. to get that wrong. are a miserable lot. <laughs> I'm happy to get that wrong. Mm. Oh, no, yeah. that's impressive. You can't get that right. It must be. Imagine if you miss happy hour. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, God. Long time to wait. <laughs> How annoying would that be? <laughs> Let's take a look at our scores, shall we? Two rounds down on Thursday's House of Games. Kate and John have been uh, in the lead all week. Look at uh, you. Kate, with Brilliant. two points at the uh, moment. Yolanda and Joel have three. John in the lead with five points. No, I don't know. Know. It's kind of lost. Yeah. Round three. Let's get straight on, shall we? Round three today is going to be... This round is in code. We're going to give you some answers to clues here, but everything is written in code. But the code is very simple. 1 equals A, 2 equals B, 3 equals C, and so on. The first category is... Types of nut. Here's your first nut. John. Cashew. Cashew. Is it cashew? Oh, yeah. yeah. 3 Maybe. equals C, yeah. 1 equals A. So on, cashew nut. Well done. Next nut. That is Yolanda. Oh no. So you've got to give an answer straight away on this yeah. one. Oh. Kate. Macadamia. Is it macadamia? Good work. Absolutely is. Well done, Ooh. macadamia. Nut. Let's have another nut. What's that? Yes. Brazil. Brazil, well mm. done. 26 in there, which is the Brazil nuts. Your next category is 
Stringed instruments. What are these stringed instruments? John. Guitar. Is it guitar? Yeah. Is it lay ah, there? Guitar. Let me do my alphabet. <laughs> yeah. So your next one. Yes, Yolanda. Ukulele. Ukulele, is that right? It is ukulele. Well this done. Is so hard. Well done. This is the time, though. Next category is island nations. <laughs> okay, island nations. They're all in code, but what are they? Yes, Joel. Oh no. Um. No, I need an answer straight away. I'm afraid. We'll time you out. That's Kate. Iceland. Is it Iceland? It certainly is. I-C-E. L-A-N-D. Iceland, well played. Your next island nation. Kate. New Zealand. New Zealand. Well done. Very well done. Got our iron now. Yeah. Next island nation. Yolanda. Madagascar. Ma ma <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen, all the sounds we needed were there. It is Madagascar. <laughs> Madagascar is the answer. Uh, that is that last okay, report, that so that, one of that, that round. That Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, no. Joel, you have three points. You can still catch up, though. Kate and Yolanda, you have five. John, staying out in the lead there, eight points. Okay. <laughs> Two rounds to go. Kate won Monday, John won Tuesday, Kate won Wednesday. Who's going to win Thursday? Your fourth round today is going to be... The nice round. Oh, let's hope. The nice round. Now, we call it the nice round because in this round you have to be nice to each other, OK? What we're going to do, you're each going to have to guess the name of something. Today, a musical, all right? What we'll do first, Kate, you're going to guess first. Would you pass these to your opponents, please? And all three of you, take out your tablets. Take your tablet out Keep and... taking the tablets. ...have a little look <laughs> at the name of the musical we've given you. And you have to write a one-word clue to help Kate. So, Kate, you're going to see three words give you a clue to a musical but they will try and hint the three of them at what this musical is because if you get it you'll score a point uh, but you'll also give a point to the person who gives you the best clue john what is the first word my, she's going to hear my word for this musical is planes planes as in Pla yeah not as in the, planes as in just yeah planes. planes yolanda what are you saying exclamation exclamation like it joel what's yours place <laughs> Place. Right, no. Okay, so planes, exclamation, and place. What do you think the musical is? It's Oklahoma. Is it Oklahoma? Of course it's Oklahoma. Very well done. <laughs> nice combination of clues there. What gave that to you, do you think? Uh, exclamation, because the, on the end of the word Oklahoma, there is an exclamation point on the musical. Yolanda, yes. you've got yourself a point I'll for your it. clue there. John, <laughs> you know how to guess a musical. Kate, if you pass those along the line. Take one and pass them on, presumably. Yes, please. Yeah. Threatening. One word clue from everybody. Oh. John, you have to guess a musical. OK. You're going to have three words to help you with it. Your first word will come from Yolanda Brown. Ooh, right, OK. Ooh. Ponytails. Ponytails. Right. Joel, what have you got? Just gone with, with book. <laughs> Ponytails, book, OK. Book. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, most yeah. musicals are based on... Yeah. So, so far, can it's I just go through your clues so far? You've gone place and book. Place and book. You know, I like to be really <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. Kate, I don't know. what is the third word? I don't know if I've spelt with? it right. That's OK. But telekinesis. Telekinesis. So oh, ponytails, right, right. book, telekinesis. Matilda. Wow. Matilda? Yes, it is. Yes, 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 Matilda. Yes, very well done. Well done. Well I think Kinesis played. has got an E Let's there, I apologise. Very nice. Uh, well, that's not a bad clue. No, it's just a whole good clue, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And sets and yeah, it was a, a... double-headed clue. Yeah. That, that was helpful. 
Could have been no, any. Yeah, maybe that's so helpful. Yeah. You know? I try. I, try. <laughs> I, mean, you, 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 I was going to write girl. You maybe not. Yeah, so I was going girls <laughs> book. I thought Greece. Maybe, Mathematical. You know. <laughs> Telekinesis. For that. that is that what gave it? That's what gave it to me. Oh, so it's the point. John to Thompson, class act, gets a point to Kate. Well done. That, nice. that was a good clue. There you go. Yolanda, you've got to guess a musical. Oh, great. John, Joel and Kate are going to write down a clue for you. Thank you so much. I'm already looking forward to Joel's clue. Uh, probably going to be songs. <laughs> <laughs> if you write down musical yeah. as your clue. So, Yolanda, yes. you have got to guess a musical. You've got three words to help you. Joel, what is the first word? I think it's... Mm, lightning. Lightning. Yes. Says Joel. Gotcha. I hope I've got you. I like it. Kate, what are you saying? And that is good writing. I've gone Rydell. Rydell. Mm. John, what's the third word? <laughs> That's OK. That's kind of a word. <laughs> I like this. So I'm going to say Greece. Is it Greece? Yeah. It, it is, is Greece. Very well played. I think we know who you're going to give your point to as well. Absolutely. That's oh, oh, my kind of talk. Very nice. great. Lightning. <laughs> it's lightning. Uh, Joel, you have a musical to guess now. Your three right. opponents are going to write down a word. Thank you. But what oh. is the musical? Oh, OK. OK. <laughs> so, so far the reactions have been, oh, OK, OK. Joel. <laughs> and then added to, it's Joel. It's Joel. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joel, you have a musical to guess. You've got three words to help you. The first word is going to come from Kate, and it is? Uh, I probably spelled it wrong, but I've gone elocution. Elocution is your first word. John, what is Joel's I've got second the same. word? Elocution. Elocution, elocution. Uh, Yolanda? Sophisticated. Sophisticated. Elocution, elocution, sophisticated. Joel, what is that musical? Um, elocution. It's like school or... Any ideas? I know musicals and I don't know. I don't know. Shall we time, time it up, out. Joel? Yeah, why not? John, what was it? My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. You know, the rain in Spain falls mainly on yeah. the plane, all the elocution yeah. lessons and all that kind of... Very sophisticated. As Very well. sophisticated. sophisticated. No points there. Do you get that at home? Very well done if you did. Uh, no points for Joel. Would you like to give a point to anyone or did you feel that uh, you were left slightly in the dark? It's, it's, fairest, a point to, each, it's a fairest to not give a point to anyone because I haven't got it, so none of them were good clues to Let's me. do that. Uh, no uh, points for anyone. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That makes sense. That, that makes does make sense. That is the end of round four. Who is going to win Thursday's House of Games? It's been super competitive. All week, that is not about to stop now. One round to go. Let's take a look at the scores. Ooh, Joel, so you have four. It is very close He's up close. top. Yolanda, you're in joint second with seven with Kate. And John, you are in the lead with nine points. Two point lead going to the final round. Anybody's game still. Final round, as always, is. Answer smash. John, you have a two-point lead. Yolanda, Kate, you are simply two points behind him. Kate, you won on Monday. John, you won on Tuesday. Kate, you won on Wednesday. Who is going to win on Thursday? We're about to find out when we play Answer Smash. Buzz in, give me a correct answer, you get a point. Buzz in, give me an incorrect answer, you lose a point. I'll show you a picture and a question. Smash the answers together. Your first category is... British pop singers. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. What is the name of the L-shaped tool often provided with flat pack furniture? Yes, that is Joel. Uh, Lily Allen Key. Yeah. Lily Allen Key is the right answer. Well played, Joel. <laughs> Next question. In the 1989 animated film The Little Mermaid, what is the name of the sea witch who takes away Ariel's voice? That is Yolanda. Uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Ollie. Merjus, Merjus. Can't take it, I'm afraid, Yolanda. Kate gets in there before John. Ollie Mercula. Mercula. Is it Ollie Mercula? Yeah, Ollie Mers and Ursula. Well done, unlucky Yolanda. Next one. What is the capital city of Jamaica? Yes, Joel. Molly uh, Kingston. 
Molly Kingston? Yes. Is the right answer. Well done. Molly King and Kingston. Next category. Fish. Oh, boy. The pictures will be fish. There'll be clues underneath. What's the answer here? Harold Sakata plays which henchman in Goldfinger? Kate. Cod job. Is it cod job? Wow. It is cod Ooh. and odd job. Well done. Wow. Next one. Which entrepreneur who was 40th in Forbes magazine's Billionaires 2019 list sent a car into space in 2018? That is John. Eel Lon Musk. Is it Eel on Musk? It is Eel on Musk. That's a hard one because that yeah. is essentially his name. Well played. I would have lost confidence there. Yeah. Uh, next one. Next fish. Which group of Scottish islands found west of the Little Minch Strait are sometimes known as the Western Isles? Oh. Kate. Rainbow Trouter Hebrides. Is it the Rainbow Trouter Hebrides? Oh, yes. Oh, right. the Trouter Hebrides. Well done. That was very that impressive. Very good. Next category TV Cooks. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues underneath. In which fictional road do the characters in Neighbours live? Yes, Kate. Gordon Ramsay Street. Is it Gordon Ramsay Street? It certainly is Gordon Ramsay Street. Well played. Next TV <laughs> cook. No more TV oh, cooks. It was close. I threw my was close. close. Super, super close. It's so close. Kate, you won on Monday. I did. John, you won on Tuesday. Yeah. Kate, you won on Wednesday. I did. Who has won on Thursday's House of Games? It all came down to that round. Whatever happened. Has Kate okay. <laughs> overturned that lead? It was John's lead enough. Our winner on Thursday's House of Games is... Oh! Reverend Kate Botley has won again. Hey. One point. I'm gutted about Cod Job, because I really know Bond. Cod I Job. I was going Cold Job. <laughs> I was going Job Cod. Who was that? <laughs> job Cod. I oh, it, it, it all really came down to Rainbow Trout of Hebrides, didn't it? <laughs> it Kate, did. Very well done. Like, like that answer. was lovely done. Kate, you have won yourself a little prize. What do you want to take away here? Cricket bat toolbox, duvet and pillow set, scent tankard. Can I have a duvet set, please? Are you wow. kidding me? <laughs> wow. I mean, you can. Wow. Kate takes home pillow and duvet set. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Let's take a little look at our leaderboard going into our final day. One more day before we give away that trophy. Here's how the weekly leaderboard looks. Tomorrow is double points Friday. Eight points for a win, six for a second, and so on. Yolanda has eight. Joel has nine, John has ten, a five-point lead there. Kate, 15 points. That is going to be tough to overhaul tomorrow, but can be done because it's double points Friday. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you here, same time, same place. We will see you as well on The House of Games. <laughs>